Chapter 2 Tyler Hall stared at the woman across the table from him as if she were a stranger, and not the woman he'd been dating for the last six months. I'm sorry, what did you say? She let out an exasperated sigh and flicked her hair over her shoulder. I'm leaving, Tyler. I thought I could handle this, that it might be fun. There is nothing to do in this town, and I'm bored. You work all day, and you don't even drink. Anger flared within Tyler, and he interrupted her. I told you why I don't drink. Sierra rolled her eyes. I know. You don't drink because you're a recovering alcoholic. But I'm not. Tyler, I'm 26 years old, and I want to have a little fun. I'm fun? Tyler couldn't believe this was happening again. I have fun. Hanging out with your friend Aaron and his wife is not my idea of fun. I mean, it's fine for them to stay home and play Scrabble. They're married, but I want to do more. I want to go out and not worry if I have a drink. Or a few drinks, Tyler thought to himself. He should have known when he met Sierra at the town social. She'd been tipsy that night, but had assured him it was only because it was her friend's birthday. They'd avoided drinks after that, but lately Sierra had insisted they go out to eat, instead of eating at his ranch, and she'd ordered a drink every time. I've never stopped you from drinking. No, you haven't, but it hasn't made me feel any less guilty, and I don't want to feel guilty. She reached across the table and took a hold of his hand. We're just not right for each other, Tyler. Surely you know that. He glanced down at their hands. Yes, he knew that. He'd noticed her distancing herself in the last month, and it wasn't like this was new to him. His last three relationships had ended similarly. Still, past experiences never seemed to prepare him when the words left their mouths. He eased his hand out of her grip and leaned back. You're right, Sierra. We aren't right for each other. He reached into his pocket and pulled out his wallet. A twenty should be enough to cover his meal. She could pay for her own. He dropped the twenty on the table and pushed back his chair. I wish you the best. Her eyes widened and her demeanor shifted. You don't have to leave right now, Tyler. At least eat. She glanced around the crowded restaurant but kept her voice low. I'm no longer hungry, Sierra, but that should cover my order. Tyler! Her voice held an angry hiss, but she still didn't raise her volume. Probably she hoped he would come back and not make a scene. He wondered briefly if she even had money to pay for her order, but found he didn't care. He was tired of doing what everyone else wanted. The cool air matched his mood as he stepped out of the restaurant and walked toward his truck. Lights from a nearby bar called to him, but he looked away. Aaron. He needed to see Aaron. That would calm him down and keep him from drinking. He'd been sober long before Sierra, and he was determined to remain that way after her. So what happened? Aaron asked as he flipped over the ribs he'd been cooking when Tyler arrived. Tyler pulled his coat tighter and leaned closer to the warmth emanating from the grill. Sierra and I broke up, or she broke up with me, rather. Man, I'm sorry. You've had rough luck with women lately. Aaron closed the grill lid to give the meat a little more heat. Tyler scoffed. Yeah, rough doesn't really begin to describe it. His last three girlfriends had all said similar things. They loved him but they needed excitement, or someone with more drive. Tyler had drive, but his drive was focused on his ranch, keeping it afloat and obtaining more cattle. They just didn't understand his drive. And part of that was because two of the last three had been city girls, thinking they wanted a change, but realizing later the country was not the change they sought. Deirdre had been a country girl, but it turned out she wanted to try the other side as well. She'd left him for a lawyer in a big city. At least he hoped that's what it had been, because otherwise it was him, and he didn't know how to fix that. Maybe you should go on that reality show that Nancy watches. Marry a cowboy or something like that? A deep chuckle issued from Tyler's throat. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need. The whole world knowing I can't keep a girl around. That doesn't sound like something that would draw in the type of woman I'm looking for. No, I'm serious. Don't tell anyone, but Nancy made me watch an episode with her. I think it was the first one. They brought in like 30 beautiful women for this guy to choose from. A beautiful outside isn't everything. Tyler hated it when people only focused on outer appearances. Yes, it was necessary to feel attracted to the other person, but beauty faded. Personality was way more important to Tyler. But it never hurts. Anyway, they pay for the dates, and you get to know the women. 
Maybe it's worth a try. Widen the pool, as it were. Can you imagine me on television? The thought sent Tyler laughing, and Aaron quickly joined in. What's so funny? Nancy had snuck up on them and now stood looking from one man to the other. Aaron thinks I should try to be a contestant on some reality dating show, Tyler said as his laugh faded. Nancy's eyes widened to the size of half dollars. Who wants to marry a cowboy? Yeah, that's the one, Aaron said as his own laughter fizzled. Sierra broke up with him. Nancy's smile faded, and her forehead wrinkled in a sympathetic expression. Oh, Tyler, I'm so sorry to hear that, but I think you would be great on the show. From what I understand, you fill out a survey, and they find women that match what you like. It might be a great opportunity to meet women you wouldn't normally. Tyler chuffed as he looked from Aaron to Nancy. He'd known Aaron since high school, and Nancy since just after graduation. There was a time they were clearly separate people, but after being married for a decade, it was harder to tell where Nancy ended and Aaron began. You two sound so alike. Tyler shook his head. Would he ever find a love like Nancy and Aaron had? I'm serious. In fact, I'm going to go look up the requirements right now. I'm sure it's easy. Before either man could say a word, Nancy spun and disappeared into the house. Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to be auditioning whether I like it or not? Tyler asked as he leaned back against the porch railing. Because you know my wife? Aaron grinned and opened the grill to check the meat. That he did. Nancy was a determined woman, and she almost always accomplished whatever she set out to do.